All right, so here I am. I'm going ahead and I'm putting my substrate in. This substrate requires a lot of water. So I actually, if I did this again, I would actually take the dirt out, put it in a separate tub and let it soak for a few minutes. It does require a lot. So this added a lot of moisture to my tank, which I would later have to deal with. But here I am, I'm crunching it up, getting it broken down, adding more water so that this can become more pliable and I can move it around as I want. All right, I've gone ahead, I'm pulling up my Mandulopothos that I want to put in here. Now, Mandulopothos, I know, is a vining plant, but it is a temporary plant that I have been growing hydroponically, and I would like to plant it in substrate sometime in the future. So I'm going ahead, I'm packing it in the corner where I want it, making sure there's plenty of space for the roots to grow, and I'm going ahead, creating this little uh, trench so that I could put my stone slab in. Now I'm packing the dirt onto the side, make sure there's plenty of support. All right, I'm going ahead and I'm showing you guys. That I have a big backyard and it has plenty of fallen leaves and bark this time of year. So I've gone ahead because I didn't want to go to the store and I boiled these to clean them and sanitize them and I'm going ahead and I'm putting bark into the tank. Now it is important for isopods to have plenty of hiding spaces because they are tiny little creatures and they thrive off of bark. So I'm going ahead, I'm putting this in. I'm also going ahead and putting the other pothos in on the opposite side so that when they do get a little bit bigger, their roots won't tangle and I won't have to worry about hurting the roots. Packing that in there. I'm also going ahead and trying to think of what I want to do with the leaf litter that I have because isopods love decaying matter. So eventually I'm going to put them in there, but as you'll see, I will take them out and I will crush them up as you can see because I want it to be more movable for the isopods because they do like decorating their own little spaces from my experience. All right, now as you can see, I'm taking a water bottle and I'm spraying everything down. Now, I know I'm getting the sides and everything, and I promise I will clean that up as you'll see, but moisture is very important for isopods because they do happen to live in moisture environments, hence why you'll often find them living under a log or a rock that's been exposed to the wilderness. So going ahead, cleaning that up, 
making it look nice. Finished product. I hope you really like this. I had a lot of fun making it. This is my first YouTube video and I hope it didn't do too bad. So my channel will be mainly ice pot and reptile based. So if you like that, like and subscribe and look out for more future videos.